There's nothing like celebration. I think the fact that people care so much and they put so much of themselves into the things that they create, that's something that I tell everybody who doesn't know anything about celebration is you just can't believe what people actually make and the time and effort and care they put into things. It's really extraordinary. It's extraordinary, I mean, to, to think that 1976 is when, you know, everybody was here and it's been 40 years and we're back in London and it just happens to be celebration and we're making Rogue One, which happens to be leading in to New Hope. That was not planned. It's just, it's ironic and wonderful at the same time. I've been really looking forward to, to show some of the things that we're doing because what we're trying to do with the Star Wars stories is to step outside of the sagas and the episode stories a bit, to take some risks with how we're cinema, cinematically approaching these movies, and, and the fact that we're bringing all new characters into these stories. It is a bit of a risk when people are, have grown to expect certain things, but I think today, when they saw what this looked and felt like, I think they were pretty excited. It gives us an opportunity to really explore completely different stories with different characters, but inside the same universe. And we treat Star Wars now as almost like a kind of history that we're, we're drawing from. George left us this amazing mythology that, that we can now use as we create these new stories. So that's really exciting. Gareth is a giant fan. He even took his girlfriend years ago and went into Tunisia where they shot and, and had blue milk. I mean, when he told me that, we, <laughs> when I first met him, I said, you know, I, no one has told me a story like that. I think that alone is a reason to bring you into the fold. Everybody's bringing up the fact that we have Ray now and we have Jenna Urso. But I think what's really wonderful is that these are female-empowered leads that we're putting in Star Wars. But they're also very, very different. And I think the other most important thing probably is that we're really emphasizing the need to diversify the cast and to really bring a sense of the world into these movies. It is Star Wars after all, and we want it to reflect the audience that's going to these movies. It's the fans. I think going to events like this and seeing people get so excited and to try to meet that expectation with the things that we're creating, that's what I get the most excited about.